I was at Goodwill, and I found this plug-and-play that just looked generic. I'm actually quite curious uh, with this plug-and-play TV game. There's really nothing about it that says what it does, what it plays. It's really, uh, it's really very blank. Premium power, just plug-and-play. I see this box, and I think, what's on it? I'm curious. When I see this plug-and-play that looks like Thomas the Tank Engine, I know it's going to be a, about Thomas the Tank Engine and plug-and-plays based on classic video game consoles like the Intellivision 25 video game system. Well, at least it's telling me what games are going to be on it. All these games, 25 Intellivision games. But this, I don't know what I'll be playing on it. I see that its controller is in the shape of a Dreamcast controller. Will there be Dreamcast games? Who knows? What's with this other controller? A second joypad. A soccer ball that says 2004. Was this made in 2004? Will there be soccer games? This device is promising me soccer games. Okay, let's open this sucker up. What's on it? Here we go, here we go. Aha, the second joypad. And something that looks like a Dreamcast controller. All right, the box gave us what it showed us. All right, insert this side up. All right, let's go play it. Well, you missed it, but I got the uh, cartridge in. I assume that's the cartridge where it says this side up. It's in there. It does have one of these, you know, big AC adapters. Yeah, well, so have an extra surge protector with you. And the AC cable, AC-DC cable goes here. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not sure what this does, but uh, looks important. Might be a shooter. AV goes here, of course. Second controller goes here, but I'll just be doing single player games for now. Now the moment you've been waiting for, turn it on. Let's go to something more high definition. Okay, so I'm playing this on a computer with a capture card. All right, I see Pikachu, a Teletubby, look, looks like Buzz Lightyear a farmer, Doraemon, and a ninja turtle. Do I get all that? Let's find out. Ah, plenty of games here. All right, what do we got? Oh, Contra. Oh, next up, Aladdin 3. Turn of Jafar, Z... Okay, do I get Aladdin? Pokemon, K-I-W. Not sure what to expect. Will I get Pokemon Yellow? Let's see. Not really sure what to do here. This looked like a homebrew. It was this another game that's been skinned? It uh, looks like I'm running away from Pikachu. I'm like a drag. Oh, did Pikachu fall into the blood? Okay, Pikachu, you and me, we're going after the apples. Get away from you, Pikachu. Trying to get the apples. So, is this a reskinned game? I don't know. Okay, Pikachu's coming at me. And it looks like Pikachu killed me. Oh no, moving on. Kitty A G G. Start. Oh, Dig Dug. Ding Dong. That's a neat name for a game. Yeah. Well, it's got Doraemon as advertised. Two Doraemons. And they're in different directions. Oh, do I get Teletubbies in this? I better. Hey, I remember this. It's the Arcade Mario Brothers. You know, with the pipes and kicking the turtles. Hey, it's Mario Brothers, but with the Teletubbies. Man, this makes this game plug and play worth it. Hey, look, number 11 is that soccer game. How many games are on this? I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, 40, 60, 76. Wow, 76 games. That's a value. Especially for the $15 I paid at Goodwill. Well. All in all, it is a cheap, generic plug-and-play with some 
with NES and Atari games. With some of them have been reskinned to have Teletubbies. So, should you play it? Well, there are always better plug and plays out there. So, eh, your call.